Hi friends, a little short on video content this week because I've been busy helping Juan paint the house. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, this week we're giving the house a fresh coat of paint. And got my favorite painter working on it. Todo bien? Yesterday we painted the surround of the pool. When I moved in, it was white. And the bobos, which are non-biting midges, little tiny, teeny tiny gnats. They look like mosquitoes, but they're not. They don't bite, but they swarm in the thousands, maybe the millions. They are attracted to light colors, so we get like tornadoes of those little flying gnats around the pool. And after I painted it dark blue, it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, end of August, where are we at? Oh, it's warm today, 82. We have the uh, new concrete from the Salitre reparations, all primered. We're gonna paint the whole house. a lot of painting. Touch up the trim too. It'll be ready for a few more years. Oh, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, gotta get in the shade. <laughs> uh, I was gonna come over here. Ah, oh, hot, 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 hot. Oh, damn. Find the lights colored spot. Ah. Uh, did the green trim there on the casita yesterday. Now, if you look here, which is usually shaded, and then you look up there, you can definitely see the difference in the color. And they are the same color, except up there, it's been bleached out by the sun. Another spot up there where we've done some repairs, the white primer up there. Anyway, just annual maintenance. The idea to do it all kind of started when we moved the gas line and the dryer vent here and had to repair the concrete there. And I thought, well, hey, I'm going to paint that. But you can't match paint after it's been in the sun for a few years. It's really difficult. So, hey, let's just paint it all. That's what's going on. Got the laundry room pretty well finished. Better arrangement. The folding table next to the dryer instead of across the room. Uh, the top of the dryer that had a couple of rust spots right there. All finished, came out nicely. And Moved that old refrigerator, which I've converted to a um, upright freezer, so the whole thing just freezes. Uh, over here on this side of the room with a couple of new shelves for big things. So that's the laundry room for now. I'm organizing some things over there in that shelf. Uh, but uh, good enough for now. This is uh, bathroom number five. Uh, that toilet, the drain down below the floor was totally plugged up with roots. We got that all fixed this year. So, uh, another job well done by me and Juan. Juan, the best painter I've ever worked with, and having owned a lot of rental properties, uh, I've worked with a bunch of them. 
He is the most drip-free painter I have ever worked with. Paints a straight line like he had a ruler and he doesn't. Fortunately, I don't have to rent scaffolding. When we were constructing the house, I bought the scaffolding. There's a dramatic view of the old and the new. Time to move the scaffolding. A lot of spiders that he has to clean off. It's the first time the spider's been cleaned off of the windows there for years also. Pedro, the pool guy, just finished cleaning the pool. Pretty strong breeze today. I know you can't see it, but out there in the sunshine on the lake, there's white caps. But a beautiful day for painting. Check the temperature here. I'm thinking it's, well, I don't have to think anymore. It's 76 degrees. Perfect. So I threw this ring in the pool the other day. As I was cleaning the laundry room, I found it hasn't been used for years. I blew it up and threw it in the pool. And I realized it gives me an indication of which way the wind is blowing. And the gusts send it the other way. You know, the original reason for building my big living room is the first house we bought, that roof line right there, that was the end of the house. And then all of this part was a patio, and then this was another house. We bought a second house. So we built all of that in the middle as our living room. The reason that that whole idea got started 
is that when it's windy like this, and it is windy today, that right there keeps the wind from blowing all the way on through, so it stops the wind. So even though the wind is blowing really hard today, standing right here, there's no wind. That's why I built the living room, or at least it was the beginning of the idea. Uh, let's go back around and see how Juan's doing. Juan is doing as Juan is most often doing, really good. This plant is getting all of its little yellow leaves back from the leaf cutter ants having cleaned it off a week or so ago. Most recently they got the geranium. Um, all of this light green stuff is brand new leaves as opposed to the darker ones which are older leaves. But all of those brand new leaves have come up in the last two weeks since the leaf cutter ants uh, got into this tree. Here you can still see some of the old leaves right there, how they're eaten up. Leaf cutter ants, ant wars. They haven't gotten back into the zinnias yet. Uh, let's go see how they're doing after 10 days. So in one of my recent videos, you saw that these were just sticks and now we've got leaves and flowers again and my mint that was totally not a leaf left this is about 10 days and over here in the boat the new little onions are doing great this basil is doing great that one looks like it's coming back after thinking it was going to die oregano new flower blooms Finally getting some cilantro. Okay, for all of those of you who are always correcting my pronunciation, including my wife and my son, I know it's not cilantro, it's cilantro. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.